Now, this is a lever lifter, and the Mr. Martins, the product expert, is standing next to me. What is this actually? You can see an automation component, a very important automation component, and a car is lifted to a higher level here in the production line, usually a buffer line or a conveyor. So the car body arrives here, then it's moved upwards, and here we have a height of about three meters. And what is customary? This has been um, installed or has been developed for 12 meters and for two tons. But of course, um, other sizes, other strokes are always possible. So car bodies with different weights can be transported and two tons is a lot. And 12 meters is very high, a very high level. But I must also compensate for the loads. As you can see here, um, the same well, in the loaded condition and also in the unloaded condition, we can um, design a closed system, as you can see here. This is a closed system. So the compensating mass is also going up and down in order to compensate for the weight of the car body. Exactly. And how is this driven? As you can see, there are two motors at the top, a main and a standby um, motor, and the, we can switch over very quickly in the case of a failure. And all this is speed controlled, and there is a linear sensor, a linear tr transducer, which will thus ensure the position. So if there is a failure, we can quickly change over, and the second motor is only waiting to work. Yeah. And there is also a second um, platform for maintenance work, for instance, with um, locking pins, so we can easily switch over the motor. In the case of a failure, we can quickly switch over. The downtime is very short, and we can change this. Yeah. So there is the drive unit, and I think that there are also some safety features. Yeah, safety is very important to us. That is the state of the art. And we can make adjustments, and there are four main safety features. One, for instance, is the elongation monitoring system, uh, which you can see a cork, that is, if the cage moves in one direction or another, or if a flat belt elongates. Then, for instance, we also have the distance monitoring system, or a position monitor, and you can see now that we also have the horizontal locking mechanism, yeah, you can see it here in the animation. You can see the upper and lower positions with plus minus one millimeter, but also tilting. And uh, we can so we can also monitor tilting, tilting of the cage, um, so that the roller conveyor is not being tilted. And for maintenance, there are also certain safety features. Yes, you can see it here. In every position, we can lock the equipment. In and thus at we can um, work quietly at the top, that is, change over the motors, lubricating, inspection servicing. So all this is well protected. Yeah, there is a safety package, a comprehensive safety package. That's very good. And this unit has been standing here for a couple of years. And are there any new features? Yeah, we are now using a flat belt instead of a tooth belt and the motors. Um, are also properly controlled, precisely controlled. These are some new features. Um, but we can also make adjustments to specific requirements. That is, for Volvo and VW, we have completely different types of lever lifters. Yeah, it also well depends on the customer. So we are very customer oriented, but nevertheless, this is a sort of modular design. Yeah. And Tinker's expert uses not only lever lifters for transporting, but other products. Yeah, usually we would have, would have a round the corner unit or a roller conveyor or roller systems or eccentric lifters, accumulating conveyors from Tinker. So all these can be used so that we have a closed system that is products from a single family. Yeah, so we can actually cover the entire plant. Yeah. And we transport things not only, but all we also turn them around at Tunkas. And in the background, you can see the pyramid, which is rotating. What is this supposed to be? 
Yeah, this rotary table is the EDH, the core, our core. It's been tried and tested. It's very robust, very precise, with a very long lifetime, and it can be used all over the world. And this has been standardized so that we can use it in China or in Brazil and the US. And because of the smart design, the design principle maintenance is very simple and very low and we've also got this at home and you can quickly install it so it's very simple and there are different sizes of this equipment yeah there are the so-called baby rotary tables and then it's like a pyramid up to a size of 3000 millimeters and 150 newton meters as the torque so that is the, these are the um, dimensions for the standard applications. This is very compact, modular, a similar design. And in the last few years, we uh, had got used to a different color. Now it's yellow. Has a lot happened? Yeah, we have adjusted this to the Tunka's image. That is the corporate appearance. Everything is yellow. Expert is yellow. Tunka's and so on. So the blue rotary tables or indexing tables are now yellow, but this is the only change. Yeah, here in this pyramid and on my right hand side we can see a relatively large unit. Well, actually it's the same design. There are many cams here and this one has about 120,000 Newton meters, that is the drive for force, and it's being used at um, La Land Rover and um, this is a drum drive. So, one design and two drive units. Yeah, it seems to be a very big, uh, big machine. Yes, it looks a bit like the Stargate. Yeah, on my left there is a smaller table. And while well, we wouldn't fit in, but it's quite interesting for a couple of applications. And what is the difference from other rotary tables? Well, nothing much for the customer. They can swap this. For instance, the plate diameter is the K, the same as the EDH 69, but we have the double torque because we use two cams. Uh, so everything is double. In this case here, we would uh, have 8,000 Newton meters here. We've got 16,000 Newton meters for customers which need a higher force or a drum with a higher imbalance. So, so to speak, um, this can improve the dynamic of a system. And the double drum installed here can see it, yeah. And there is a gear set at the rear so that we can drive the unit and that would be synchronized. Yeah, and positioning is also very precise as here. That is 0.035, this is always insured at the bulge.